Here they go towards Valentine Holmes. Back rower on winger. Away he goes. He's going to get six. Nine Garner chasing and six of the best for Valentine Holmes. Australia is through to the Rugby League World Cup final with a comprehensive 54 points to six win over Fiji. When you think of Rugby League World Cups, you think of uh, Australia and, and uh, England straight away. Um, the rivalry has gone back, you know, before probably my father was born and his father was born. And it's certainly, um, you know, something when I've finished playing football, you, you'll look back on and be able to say, you know, uh, we were a part of that and we were a part of that history, that tradition. And um, yeah, it's something certainly very special to, and, and humbling, really, to be able to take part in such an event like this, a World Cup final in Australia against the English. It doesn't get much better than that. You know, they've got James Roby. If- talking about Josh Hodgson there. He's um, almighty experience. He's played, he's played for England. He's played for Great Britain as well. So, and he's won, he's won grand finals. He's a big time player, and um, he's a guy I looked, I watched when I was a kid playing for England and Great Britain. And um, yeah, he, 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 losing Hodgson and bringing him in, he's, he's still, he's still a class player. He finds himself 15 out from his own line, and James Graham monstered. He's versed in that first game, and it was a very physical game. Even the outside backs are. Or Māori strong, and uh, mate, we've got to be a, on top of our game to, um, to match these boys because they're a big physical side and they can play footy. Gale Brown, early running ball to win it, but Gilbert's in off the scrum. You know, they've got some crafty halves, and you know, their, their outside backs are big as well, so they're really well balanced, and um, you know, they're going to be well coached. We all know that. There's nothing Wayne Bennett hasn't achieved in the game. We'll go down as one of the greatest coaches in rugby league, and um, England got him on his side, so. You know, we, we, we know he's always um, chopping and changing, or he's got some sort of some sort of plan for us. But you know, we just got to concentrate on us. Um, you know, we sort of going this week, train well and prepare well, and because they're they're all almighty good side. And that's a bit like Petro used to run. Oh, Unavalu came out of the line. Here come the Kangaroos, and Billy Slater scores. He amazes me every time I do play with him. It's it's not the. He's not the bloke that's going to bump five tackle breaks or you know score tries, but just how he dictates the game and how he how he controls a controls the game, it's 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 it's, it's amazing. And um, get the play with him and Cooper Cronk, Billy Slater, and just how those guys uh, operate a football game, it's it's amazing. Can't see him from the pin, mate. Um, he hasn't missed a session this whole uh, this whole tour. Um, he trains every day with the boys, trains just as hard as everyone else, and. Um, Obviously, his performances speak for themselves. He's a miracle worker, mate, but I, I, can't, I can see him going on for another few years yet. Um, he's still in tremendous shape. Uh, he just gets through the games and keeps getting through the games and, you know, just speaks, you know, how highly and, and you know, just his quality of a player he is. Hopefully he keeps going for Australia, not Queensland, so... Um, oh, mate, he's, he's an almighty player and I'm very blessed to have played with him and, and hopefully continue to play with him.